Hey, GED students, we are working on the beginning level practice of Unit 0, Lesson 1 on the crash course. That's the basic operations. And once again, I would beg you, please read the directions on this problem. Some of you guys were freaking out because you didn't read the directions. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, use a calculator to find each value. Guys, I give you permission to use the GED calculator. Now you might be saying, well, aren't well, don't I need to learn how to do the basic operations? Uh, not as important for the GED as understanding what they're asking you to do. So the real key here is not really calculator skills. It's not really um, the skill of doing math by hand. It's the skill of translation, knowing those vocab words. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, the first one says find the product of 17 and 14. This is number 23. What am I asking you to do if I ask you to find the product of 17 and 14? I'm asking you to multiply them, guys. So now that you know what to do, like it's not that big of a deal to do it. You just literally pick up your GED calculator, okay? I don't need you to know how to do this. And you're just going to multiply 17 times 14. I don't know. A bunch of you guys are like, oh, so let me say that again. Woo! You're just going to multiply 17 and 4. And a bunch of you guys are like, don't I need to know how to multiply for the test? Um, No, you don't. You could pass with a really high score and never learn to multiply by hand. That being said, do I want you to learn to multiply hand? I mean, it'd be nice. Um, but I'd rather you knew what the word product meant. Okay, next one says find the sum of 33 and 194. Do you remember what they're asking us to do? If they ask us to find the sum, that's right. They're asking us to take 33 and add 194. A sum is an addition expression or it's simplified answer. So let's simplify this. 33 plus 194, and you're just typing it into your lovely GED calculator. I don't need you to do it by hand. Next one, find the difference between 44 and 109. So if you remembered that difference means subtraction, that's super awesome, I'm super excited. But remember, difference is the one where you have to remember a little more than just subtraction. It's a positive answer, it's subtraction with a positive answer. It's, and so in order to ensure that this sucker is gonna be positive, I need to make sure my bigger number comes first, no matter where it is in the wording. So I'm going to take 109 and I'm going to subtract 44. And that's what I'll type in my calculator. And I get 65. The value there is 65. Now, next one, find the quotient of 105 divided by 15. Now, this one, I can never write a quotient expression without telling you divided by because I need to tell you order order matters in division. And so, you know, we have that clue word right there. But even if we didn't have that clue word, I need you to know that quotient means divide. And so I am going to take 105 and it's going to be divided by 15. And again, calculator, 105 divided by 15. If you hear my click, 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 you're right. I'm doing it in my, uh, <laughs> computer calculator. One of my kids stole my GED calculator. What a jerk. But it's the same buttons, this particular application on the computer or the handheld. Some of our other calculator skills will be more complex. Okay, next one. Find the distance between 9 and 11 on a number line. You say, Kate, um, weren't we doing some a uh, difference product and quotient in this lesson. What the heck is with the word distance? Well, distance is a synonym. It means exactly the same thing as one of these other words. Do you remember which one? It's difference. And I think it helps that they both start with DI, you guys. But difference, distance, they mean the exact same thing. They mean subtract, but not just subtract. It has to be positive. And that should make really like a lot of sense with distance, you guys, because hello, if I asked you how far you walked to the store, what distance did you go? You would never tell me I went negative 500 feet. Like sometimes when we subtract, we get negatives, but not when they tell us to find the distance. And so again, I'm going to ask you to subtract so that the bigger number is first. 
and the, the smaller number is second, so to guarantee that we have a positive answer. So 11 minus 9 gives us 2. So what's the distance between those two numbers on a number line? Same as difference. It would be 2 units away. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them.